Welkom bij de Dronken Barbecue Polar Vortex Edition. En why Polar Vortex? Because it's freaking cold. Don't know the exact temperature, it's somewhere around minus 30, 35, I don't know, we'll put it up somewhere here. And today, my friends, we're making some short ribs. So, first things first, get some onions going. Haha, <laughs> gotta have some flavor, gotta have some flavor. <laughs> well, now we brown the onions a bit, it's time to braise the meat. There we go, meat side down. So, all we wanna do is braise them a bit so they become nice and crunchy. You wanna have a crust, right? You wanna have a crust. And all I did with the ribs. Oh. And all I did with the ribs is basically cut them in one rib sections because that's big enough for my pan. Sprinkle it with my favorite barbecue rib, and in the pan they go. Winter sport at its best. Winter sport at its best. I would call this. <laughs> It really is minus 30, and the only thing I can say is this is cold weather cooking at its best. And keep adding wood because that's the only thing that keeps you warm. There we go. Up again. Keep building it up. Keep building it up. And don't forget to turn them, eh? Because you want to brown the sides a little bit as well. The more you brown it, the more flavor you will have. Well, now our meat starts to color nice and brown. It's time to take them off the fire and change the, the, the skillet out for a Dutch oven. Woo! We stick the pan close to the fire as we want to warm up the oil that's in there. We're going to sear some more onions and some garlic for some flavor. Got to have flavor. Then we're going to add the meat, some barbecue sauce. And we're going to stew that, uh, that concussion for another say, like two to three hours. We could have done everything straight away in this Dutch oven, but this thing is not big enough to, to actually braise all the meat. So we're going to, we did that first in the skillet. Just in case you're going to ask. You know it already. And there we go. Off to phase two. First the onions go in. Hoppa. No, garlic. Can't have garlic. And the onions, my friends. I kept them nice and long, so if we stay nice and stringy. Woo. Well, I kept the I kept the onions nice and long, so once we're gonna pull the meat apart, we got some stringy onions to go with it. Mwah. Heaven, heaven. So oh, that's nice and hot. Now we're gonna put the beef back in. Whoop! There you go, guys. Good night for a while. Nice, nice, nice. Leftover onions, we're not gonna throw that away. We're gonna add that to this pan as well. Whew. Well, there we go. Beef is in there. Next phase, barbecue sauce. Whatever floats your boat, just put it in there. That gives it an extra layer of flavor. And flavor is good. Ha! Ah, it's getting nice and warm here. We're gonna exaggerate, but maybe I'm gonna wear shorts soon. Anyway, barbecue sauce is in, onions are in, garlic is done. We're just gonna add some water. Whoop. Just so we have enough liquid to braise this for the coming two to three hours. Or, till the meat is done. Because you want to be able to pull it off the bone. We don't want the competition stuff with bite marks and stuff like that. No, nope. pull it off the bone. Hoppa. So, bring this to the boil. Now let it simmer away. 
And that's all there is to it. Well, now you're still watching the channel. Hit like and subscribe buttons and I'll check in with you in about three hours. Don't leave just yet. Wait till you see the end of the video. Look at that, look at that. Pulled beef short ribs at its best. Well, I lied. It didn't took three hours. It took two and a half. Anyhow, it's too dark to film outside, but here you go. Hey there, thanks for watching the video, and now you're sad. Sad that the video is finished, but subscribe to my channel and you will never be sad again, ever.